Hi, I'm Jessica Citizen from GamePro News and I'm here with Christine from uh, Parrot and we're looking at the AR drone which is here on display at E3. So what's new for Parrot at this year's E3? Well, as you know, uh, we launched last year the uh, AR drone in this same place. And uh, so this year we're coming with uh, a lot more things like uh, more platforms we're launching, uh, more games and a lot more fun. So um, in terms of the new platform, the more exciting and everybody was waiting for it is the Asteroid. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's going to be available from July on. Mm -hmm. So in the Android market, uh, so that everybody's going to have available the free flight application for free. We have been working since uh, last year with more than 6,000 SDKs. So we have from universities to schools to researchers, NASA, and uh, big, small, and medium-sized developers that are developing not only new platforms, like I was saying, uh, this one for, Ast for and uh, Android, um, but also for Bada, for the Galaxy phones for Samsung, and uh, Nokia, for example, uh, for the uh, Symbian operating system. And all these guys, besides thinking in new platforms, what they're doing is also thinking in new applications and new games. So this is why we are presenting today, too. Um, we launched our last game um, in April, which was a, a fight between two drones that um, happened thanks to the uh, augmented reality technology. Mm -hmm. So those, those two drones, they weren't necessarily in the same place, were they? You need, to be you need to be physically in the same place, but the battle is happening only on the screen. So you really need to fly and to be uh, mastering your flight um, to be able to avoid the shooting of the other one. But of course, uh, all the shooting and the missiles are only happening on the screen. And the game they're launching today is the AR Race, which is, um, you see here, part of the the physical part of the game. Uh, the software, of course, is going to be also available in iTunes. And um, it was from yesterday on. Um, so basically, it's a, it's a game that up to four players. And the idea is to have, uh, you know, you measure the time and you can set up your own circuit in your garden or whatever you want. And um, the last thing we're coming to present here is uh, our challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, challenges, because we, we have seen during all this time that the community and the competition is, is something very strong in, uh, you know, attached to the drone. So what we're doing is um, we're putting together some challenges that we're going to put online to uh, show our, our pilots, well, this is what we can do. Can you do better? So the first one is going to be placed in uh, June 24th, and the final is going to be in October in Paris. So we're going to have uh, 14 uh, pilots the best pilots of the world coming to Paris to show what they can do uh, with the drone. Um, and it's going to be a worldwide competition. So this is what, what is hot now for, around the drone. <laughs> Fabulous. So for those of us who, who aren't completely aware of what the drone is, it's, it's a flying machine. Yes. And it's controlled by your mobile phone. Is that that's yes. right? Exactly. Uh, we launched it um, basically with, uh, with the iPhone and the iTouch and the iPad. Um, as I said, now it's going to be in, in different devices, but that's, that's how we launched it before. Basically, it's a quadricopter, and it, is, it creates its own uh, Wi-Fi network, so it connects with the uh, device, and that really makes it so cool because it's portable. You don't need to be confined in uh, one uh, in your room if you want. And this is something that we think that is a, is a very interesting concept, uh, what we bring in here, because it's mixing uh, the possibility of getting out of your house but still play with video games. So I think that this is quite revolutionary. And it has two cameras, mm -hmm. one um, in the, well, underneath, which is going to be measuring the speed. And the other one in the front is the one that is going to be showing on your screen what he sees, but also is the one that's going to be using for detecting the tags for the games. So it's going to, that's the one detecting the amount of reality. So it's, it's not just that your mobile phone turns into one of those old school remote control no. with, with the joysticks and everything. No. You can actually see what the plane is seeing. Absolutely. Not only that, what it does, uh, well, thanks to the accelerometer of, uh, of these devices, you basically see that the drone is going to follow the movements of your hand. So it's very intuitive and very easy to fly. Fabulous. 
Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about, about Parrot, about the drone, about what's coming up in well, the future? that uh, we are super excited because now we are in Australia since uh, November last year. So um, I hope that we have a lot of uh, excited pilots coming to the competition. And uh, we, we hope to see you in Australia very soon instead of here. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.